What's up, everyone? How's it going? This is Wudi Kimchi, and today we're doing top facts about Kim Bo Hoon. Number one. In 1994, when she was four years old, Kim's family moved to Beijing, China, and lived there for ten years. Number two. After watching Chen Cage's Together many times, every time she saw it, Kim decided she wanted to become a filmmaker. But she was led to theater by chance. She entered the School of Drama at Korea National University of Art. Number three. In 2012, Kim was catapulted from obscurity to the center of the media when she was cast as Eun Kyo, a 17-year-old high school student who awakens the lust of two men in Amuse. Her performance swept the Best New Actress awards that year. Number four. 21-year-old Go Eun had never appeared in a film or a TV drama before, not even in a minor role. She had only previously acted in student productions or school plays. She met Amuse Jong Ji Woo through a circle of friends and was not even aware that auditions for the film were being made. She says, "I ended up having the audition after chatting with the director. There wasn't even any time to prepare. She was chosen among some 300 actresses who auditioned for the part." The film featured two graphic sex scenes, which Kim admitted to feeling anxious and embarrassed. But when the camera started, she said she became totally immersed in the character. Number five. Despite many offers following Amuse, Kim decided to take a short break for two years, going back to school and finishing her degree. She returned to the screen in 2014, showcasing her versatility in the thriller Monster, where she played a disabled woman whose younger sister is murdered by a ruthless serial killer. Her grief and rage drives her almost psychotic, and she plans for revenge. Number six. In 2015, she and Kim Hee Soo were cast in Coin Locker Girl, a female-driven thriller based on a 1980 Japanese novel, Coin Locker Babies, about a baby girl abandoned in a coin-operated locker at a train station and raised by a loan shark, eventually grooming her for a position in the organization. She then starred in the martial arts period drama Memories of the Sword, where she acted along with Chun Lo Yun. This was followed by The Advocate, a missing body, where she played an aggressive prosecutor. Number seven. Kim made her TV debut in the cable series *Cheese in the Trap*, based on the webtoon of the same name. She also contributed her vocals in, in the track *Attraction* for the drama's OST. She won the Bexan Award for Best New Actress in TV. This was followed by a role in *Canola*, a family-themed movie about a reunion between a girl and her grandmother. The same year, she played the female lead in fantasy drama *Guardian: The Lonely and Great God*. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Mr. Kimchi. As always, don't forget to leave some comments down below. Watch the next and previous videos. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.